Hey everybody, look what's been sent to me, it's the crown stone. This might be the next step in home automation. This little device can be used to place behind your wall socket or in your ceiling lights. It can switch and dim your lights, but the killer feature of it is that it can see in what room you are within your house and act upon your presence in a specific room. With the crown stone you finally have presence awareness inside your house. Let's take a closer look at this intelligent little device. So, this is the ground stone. This is the box. A small little box. Nothing special about it. Let's see if you uh, can open it. So this is uh, this is the device. It's a really small device. You can put it behind your wall socket or at your ceiling light. There are four connection points on it. Uh, two for the power in and out, and for the neutral in and out. So the zero power in and out. And uh, it's uh, it's it's really uh, really simple how it's uh, how it's been set up. Um, let's see what's more in the box. Okay, instructions. Well, these instructions it's, looks quite easy how it works. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, let's put this aside um, and let's install it, and I'm going to show you how. So this is the app, and in the app we're going to add a new crown stone, and in my case it's a built-in one, and it is behind a socket. So there it is, I found it, and I have to give it a name. So the name is going to be Kitchen Sockets. And we can attach an icon to it so let's get the socket icon and now we have to create a room I'm going to create a room called kitchen I also select an icon for the kitchen Yes, and we are going to say the socket is in the kitchen. Great, and as you can see, if I click on it off, it goes off, and I click on, it goes on. So I can now operate my socket with the app. 
Um, there's also an update available, as I can see. So let's update this crown stone. It's updated and it's still working. I can also do one other thing, and that is the tap to toggle function. And if I enable it, I can hold my phone against the socket and then it will switch on and off based on the phone if the zone is there. And now I'm going to install a crown stone behind the ceiling light. <laughs> Again, we are going to add a new ground stone. Again, it's the build in one, and now it's at the ceiling light. And let's see, there it is, it has been found. So we're adding it, and we're going to call this ground stone the bathroom. And we're going to select an icon for it. It's a ceiling light icon. And I already created a room bathroom, so I'm going to say that this ground stone is in room bathroom. Now we're going to the bathroom and I can switch the light on and off. But my lights on the bathroom have more functions. I can also see what the power usage is and the abilities of my bathroom lights are that I can dim them and I'm going to uh, put on Switchcraft and as you can see now is that, oh now I'll update it first. So this ground stone is all also updated and now you can see that I can switch it on and off but also that I can dim this, uh, this light. So the ground stone supports switching and it supports dimming which is really nice. But it can do more. So with my phone, I go to the desired room, for instance, the office, and I'm going to say, hey, let's train it. And I'm saying my room is normal, up to 20 square meters. And the only thing that I have to do is walk around the room uh, while this uh, is running. And now this ground stone knows that it is in my office. So I can do the same for the other rooms in my house. So for instance, let's go to the kitchen. I'm going to say I'm going to teach the ground stone again that, it's, that this one is in the kitchen. And I'm walking around in the kitchen, training the ground stone. So this ground stone knows that it's in the kitchen. And I can also do it for the bathroom. So I'm going to train it again, a normal room. And I'm running around in the bathroom, well, walking, not running. Um, you need at least four crown stones to let this work, so that you know it. And now I'm going to walk around my house from the bathroom 
to the kitchen and then I'm going to the hallway of my office and then I'm going to my office and as you can see the crown stones know where I am. <laughs> So, for instance, let's go to the office. And if I go to my office light crown stone, I go to behaviors and I'm going to add a new behavior. In this case, it's going to be presence aware behavior. And it will be on if somebody is in the office hallway or office. I make it office if I'm in the room. So basically, the light switches on if I am in the office. And I can also say at what day, and I can also say at what time I want this. I can also add another behavior. For instance, that uh, the lights are going on when it's dark outside. And then I can even say how much the lights are dimmed when I'm, uh, in this case, uh, when uh, somebody is home and it's dark outside. So that's also, there's a, there's a lot of functions here, but I'm just showing you a couple. So now what I can also do is say that, for instance, uh, in the office, the only time when the lights may go on is between 8.30 and 5 o'clock in the afternoon, because then I'm working. Uh, and when I'm in that room, and I can also choose on what days I want that. So, for instance, only on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because I'm not working in the weekends. So, for the integration with Home Assistant, I prepared a little demo. I can now switch the lights in my house. I can dim the lights in the bathroom, and I can switch the kitchen socket and there's another function that uh, will be there in the near future. It's not yet there, but it will come uh, pretty soon. And that is that you can create your own automations based on the presence of people in the house or in the room. For instance, if somebody leaves the bedroom, then you can switch off all the lights in the bedroom. In this case, if Ricardo or Tony leaves the bedroom then you can do something maybe switch off everything and the same uh, can be done for multiple users so if all users left the bedroom then do something or if all users enter the bedroom then do something and you can do it for your whole house so if somebody leaves the house or everybody leaves the house switch off everything which is really cool i hope you enjoyed the video if so, please like the video, share it, and if you want to know more about smart home automation, subscribe to my channel and I will send you more videos. Bye bye!